Hey guys, and welcome back to Gunpla News, episode 12 for November 2015. This is part 4, where we're going to be talking about just a couple of third-party and resin conversion kits that I want to share with you guys. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot to come out in terms of third-party stuff. A couple of things from Dragon Momoko, but as I've said before, I don't really particularly like Dragon Momoko, so I don't really want to talk about their products here. If you do want to know about them, you, uh, I would suggest the best place to uh, check those out and order them if you're interested. It would be going to Samuel Decal's Facebook page. Uh, just go to, on Facebook and uh, find the Samuel Decal's page there. You can check those out. And if you're interested in ordering, you can order them through him. I'm not going to talk about them here. What I am going to talk about first off is a couple of resin conversion sets from Model Legend. Now, Model Legend uh, does um, uh, resin conversion sets. If I am correct, I believe that Justin Justinius Builds is working on a uh, resin conversion set, I believe, from Model Legend on his uh, RG, making the RG uh, GP00 uh, Blossom, if I I, if I am correct about that. Anyway, uh, check that out if you're interested. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is the uh, resin conversion set for turning your Master Grade uh, 1 100 scale Sandrock EW into the Sandrock Armadillo. Uh, now, this is off they're offering two different sets, set one and set two. You can buy separately if you want, or you if you, you can buy them together. If you buy these sets together, it's going to cost you around $100, $110, something like that. So a little bit expensive. But um, the prices for these, I'm just going off of uh, the prices that I've seen listed on uh, one particular Facebook page. I'm not sure. Maybe other stores might have these for cheaper. I'm not sure. If you're interested, you can check those out. I'm just uh, making you guys aware of the fact that they're available, basically. Uh, but again, some pretty cool uh, add-on parts there for your sand rock. The other one is the Model Legend resin conversion set for the HG uh, HG 144 scale Curios. So this is to turn your Curios into a Curios Gust. So it has like the extra boosters on the legs. It has an extra uh, like beam cannon um, on its arm anyway that you can hold in the hand. This one as well is going to be pretty expensive, but obviously some pretty big parts involved for this one. Uh, $76 I've seen for this one. Again, that price could change depending on what seller you get it from, but uh, again, looks like a really cool set. I wish Bandai would, would make a kit of that, uh, but uh, until they do, this is one way that you can make it if you're versed in resin. Now, uh, that's it for that. Now, what I want to talk about is just do a quick update on the Mechanicor 1100 scale Teeth Sturmer. They have gone into doing some trial uh, runs of some of the runners and some of the parts, so you got some new images of that. Just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, it's a very, very huge and very, very expensive kit, but I'm very much looking forward to it. They've uh, set, they've showed the schedule and the tentative release date for this is scheduled to be around the end of December. I'm expecting that to probably be pushed back a little bit more uh, till probably January, but hopefully they can stay on schedule and get this out around the end of December. Getting this right around Christmas time in there would be a really nice gift. Uh, but anyway, so very much looking forward to that. They also, Mechanicore has also announced that they have two uh, new, two, the two next projects in the works. The second project we don't know, they haven't said anything about what it is yet, but the first one, the next one that they have coming out is going to be a 172nd scale, um, it's basically a 172nd scale cubile. They're calling it the QMS 400 uh, Kirosa Q. What we can tell, uh, basically all we've seen so far is images of the head, some CG uh, uh, images of the head, the inside of the head and the outside of the head. Uh, but it's very easy to tell that it's a cubile head just due to its uh, long shape, the very like thin eyes there, the colors, it's white and pink. It's obviously a cubile, just a very, very uh, unique take on the cubile. Now, 172nd scale, I believe this is 172nd scale uh, because the they want to use the same inner frame that they use on their other kits and that inner frame is quite large. So on their previously released kits like the um, 
the Cassi, the Penelope, the uh, the XS. They're using probably part most of the same inner frame they're using for the uh, the Deep Striker as well. Those are all pretty big Gundams. Uh, the Cubelay is not as big, so if they're going to be using that same inner frame, then it's basically going to make the scale of the Cubelay larger than one one than one one hundred scale. So that would be my guess as to why this is 172nd scale. They want to use the same inner frame, but that would require it being much larger than 1100 scale. Anyway, so the other thing that they've said about this is that it's going to be uh, interpreted as an FSS style. We don't know what that means really yet either. Uh, best guess is that it's a five star stories. What that means in terms of the design, I guess just like five-star stories like really kind of elegant elongated designs but the design that we've seen for the head so far doesn't look like five-star stories uh, not really sure what that means yet but uh, interested to see more about that the other detail that we do know about it so far uh, kind of is just that they've said that it will be offered in three modes white clear red and clear purple now I don't really know what this means if that means that we're going to be getting all of the armor, three sets of the armor, so like a, a set of white armor, a set of red armor, a set of clear uh, clear red and clear purple armor. If that's right, that's a lot of clear parts in there. Uh, that's going to drive up the cost quite a bit. It's just going to be a lot of armor in there, three sets of the whole armor. Or if there's going to be three different versions of the kit that you can choose which one you want, white, clear red, or clear purple. That's uh, seems to probably make a little bit more sense, but I hope they don't do that because I don't want to have to choose. Obviously, going for the just the standard white one would be the, the easy choice, but I don't know. Depending on how they make it look, clear red or clear purple armor, basically to make the uh, Peru versions of the uh, uh, the uh, Cubelay, the Peru 2 red version or the uh, Peru... Oh, uh, it will be the uh, the Peru version will be the red version. The Peru two will be the purple version, I believe. Right? Anyway, the purple one's the mass produced one. Um, but I also don't really know why they're why they're doing that in clear. If they were going to release three different versions, just release a white, red, and purple one. I don't know why they're making them clear. I guess maybe because they thought that if it's just uh, white, red, and purple, then people will just buy the white, and if they want it red or purple, they can just paint it. Whereas if they buy a clear. Uh, you can't paint a kit clear, so like if you wanted it like clear red, you have to get their clear red version. So I don't know. Again, we don't really know what that means at the moment. I'm looking forward to getting some more news about that, but until we do, uh, we really don't know too much in terms of details about that kit. So I uh, will just have to see. Anyway, that's about it that I have for any third-party stuff here. If you guys know of anything that I missed, uh, some other stuff maybe that's going to be coming out soon, that's interesting that I should have talked about. Let me know and I'll put it in uh, next month's episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions about any of that stuff, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'll try to get back to you on that. We'll see you coming up next in part five. We have just four featured kits I want to show you guys today. So I'm not going to be too much there. Uh, I'll see you then in part five. Bye guys.